got ready. I got ready. Um, pretty simple. Some jeans, tennis shoes, and a tank top. Um, I also put on some makeup. I don't know why I'm kind of in a rut. I just think since like I got out of a routine of like doing stuff, I just feel I don't know. I just feel so drained and quite lazy. But uh, I also haven't gotten out of the house in a while. So today is the day where I am forcing myself to go out. And so we're gonna go thrifting today by where I mean me, myself, and you. So this is gonna be way more fun than just me because I'll have you guys. So let's go. It is currently 1 30. Um, kind of a little later to the start of the day, but. I mean, I have been kind of productive. Today I did a Zoom meeting with one of my jobs. I made breakfast, like a new type of breakfast. It wasn't the best, but I mean, I tried something new. And then I did a response to a TikTok of how to curl my eyelashes because I curl my eyelashes with a spoon, not with a curling wand. So if you want to go check that out, it's on my TikTok. Anyways, I'm gonna stop ranting because I need to get out of the house. So let's go thrift shopping. You guys, I just found so much stuff in the laundry section. I'm literally screaming. I hope everything fits so well. And if it doesn't, I will literally fix it myself. I didn't even get the coffee mugs. I found so many cool pieces like cargo pieces and like and like nice dresses and I was like today is the day where I finally get some like cool pieces cool vintage pieces. Today was not that day. I'm so sad. This happens every time when I go thrifting. I have the most in my cart like when I go with my friends I have the most in my cart but when we leave, I end up with zero. Zero. Anyways, it was fun. I got out. I was there for two and a half hours. So I can't with my hair. I need a haircut really bad. Well, <laughs> this was my second thrift store. Um, I went to, you saw the one that I went to, I think on Tuesday. And I've gone to the thrift stores many times and I've never bought anything. Well, today was the day, ladies and gentlemen. I got some clothes, but I spent $100 at the thrift store. Oh. I saw another car like mine. <sighs> I cannot believe that. But I did get a lot of clothes comparing if like I was going to buy like online, you know? Like online you would just get like four t-shirts and that would be a hundred dollars. I got lots of jeans. Which if you just buy like two pairs of jeans that would be a hundred dollars. But no girlies or boys. I got multiple pairs of jeans and I'm so excited to do a little haul. All right, the big haul that everyone's been waiting for. I don't know if you've been waiting for this big haul, but I like doing hauls and I send them to my friends all the time when I just get either one or two things. So this is everything that I have thrifted for the last couple months um ever since i started filming this video um i recently went to the thrift store yesterday 
like the clips that you've seen are like a month old and the reason why it's out now is because I've been putting out my college diary videos out which if you haven't seen them go watch them I absolutely love how they turned out um but yeah I've recently just have been collecting stuff that I've been thrifting and I've been waiting to do this huge haul of just goodies that I found before I actually thrifted something I was always like so distraught when I left the thrift store because I would always end up with nothing and as you know like on social media we always see people finding such good stuff and you know like I wanted that to be me so slowly I was manifesting it and we got lots of clothes so let's just get started the first thrift store that I went to um was a really big fail i did find a lot of stuff a really cool jackets blazers and very pretty silk dresses however it was like so big on me and it also had like a hole and i was like i just i i can't purchase that like we see on tiktok and on instagram we always see people finding levi jeans and i'm like i know that i'm never going to be able to find levi jeans well I was wrong because the second thrift store that I went to had so many Levi jeans. I bought so many good jeans for $5. Like this one, I absolutely love the cut. I'm not gonna try them on because I'm a little lazy, but this is, this is how they look like. They're so cute and they fit like a glove, which I was in shock. And I thought it was going to be like low rise because mainly that Goodwill, had only low-rise jeans but when i tried them on they're like mid-rise so i really like the cut it fits like a glove and i was like she's mine and i honestly was trying to find jeans to turn into shorts but i just love the cut so much that she's she's not going she's going to stay as she is the perfect jeans that i've ever bought in my life another pair of jeans that i bought were these now they're inside out because i'm hemming the bottoms because they were really really long and i've never had that problem because like i'm a tall girl i had to cut like maybe three inches off and they're bell bottoms which i love bell bottoms they're like flared bottoms not they're not bell bottoms anymore since i cut them ouch but super cute absolutely love them now i know it's summertime and we i don't need any sweaters because i'm we're having heat advisories every day in florida and so all you really want to wear is a top and some shorts and that is it but i found this adorable little sweater isn't it the cutest pattern and colors? I absolutely love it. I just couldn't, I couldn't leave it at the thrift store. It, it had to be mine. And it, it was also like pinned on my Pinterest board. And I was like, oh, yes, I need this. I think it was like less than $8. So I was like, she's coming home with me. She's coming home with me. I'll take this one. Next pair of Levi jeans. That I found were these and it's a little it's a much darker wash unfortunately I could not find a light wash pair of denim but I'm not complaining because it was five dollars and it's Levi's this one I do have to like kind of cinch in because it's a bit too big on me but I love the cut love the color last pair of denim well is this denim no this isn't denim i don't know what kind of material this is but i found these green pants they're like they're low rise i absolutely love this like green color so pretty and i love like all of the detailing like the pockets the buttons and everything just adds so much more personality to it so i was like 
she's coming home with me tonight. I was trying to find like cargo pants and linen pants, but unfortunately they did not have in my size or none that I could find in my size, I should say. But I love these. These are really comfortable. And I've never seen like pants like these. So that's the last of pants. Then I found this skirt. It was very, very long when I bought it, but I decided to, oh, it's backwards. I decided to hem it to make it like a mini skirt. And I really like the color and they already hemmed it for me. Like this was already pre-hemmed, which I appreciate. And I really like, the reason why I picked it up was because of this like unique little button. It's not just the ordinary button where you go like this, you know? But I mean, I found this top and I was like, mm, I don't know if I should get it because it's giving Barbie, you know, it's kind of giving Barbie color, very bright pink. Like you will see me in five miles if I wear this shirt, but I just really liked the buttoning and the way it just fitted my body. It is a little booby, even though I'm in the itty bitty titty community. But it does show like a little bit too much skin where my mom did not approve of me getting this shirt. And then I found this corset top. Look at how pretty this is. Okay, wait, let me button this up. Look how cute she is. She's so adorable. I love the little lacing detail and the bow in the middle and just the overall pattern. So pretty and it's flexible. Because I don't like wearing corsets that's like stiff and you're immobile. So those are all the tops that I bought. Now moving on to sweaters and jackets. I found this leather jacket. I thought it wasn't leather. But then on the tag it says genuine leather jacket. So I'm like, mm, okay. It's absolutely stunning i love it i don't need it for the summertime but i just couldn't leave it at the store she's really pretty i love the color i was really debating on getting this one or a leather jacket like a black leather jacket but i'm just like i see black leather jackets all the time but i never see this type of leather jacket then I got this little white cardigan. She is so comfortable. And then the last two things that I got were handbags. This is what I picked up yesterday at the thrift store. And I actually went with my mom and she found this little black shoulder bag. Ah, look how cute she is. It's giving very like 90s, 2000 vibes and and I thought she was just great to add to my collection of bags. And it's real leather. This was $8. I was like, this is a steal. And then another real leather bag that I got was this burgundy little shoulder bag. She's so cute. I love the little buckle. It has a little four leaf clover as the logo. That is it for my little haul. I hope you enjoyed this little like convo and me showing you my goodies that I just have found over the past month. I really recommend you going to the thrift store and just browse around, get in your car and go to the thrift store. <laughs> okay guys, I'll see you guys next week with a new video. Bye guys. Three, two, one. <laughs> Arguing again, arguing about something so simple Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character Every tear that you cry